Well, you know, the primary reason why we came down on this latest trip to Havana was to create a video for my song, Por Una Cabeza, from my album, Perfect Day. What's our next step? We had to find a place to do this, first of all. But the house, for example, that we did find, it was a bit of a fluke finding it. And it just lent itself perfectly. It was a stairwell uh, coming down. It was high ceilings. And you'll see this in the video itself. But it just, I think, it's one of those things you walk in and it's wow. Because we saw so many places before. We walked through Old Havana. We were scouring the city to try and find a place that would fit this imagery. And sometimes, you know, in life, you just walk into a place and you get that wow moment. And I think this place was it. Okay, so why Havana? You know, I've had the opportunity to discover this wonderful city with Da Vinci Cinema many years ago. And, you know, just discovering it, coming down here and experiencing and producing what we did the first time became a bit of a drug for me. Kind of thing, you come down here, uh, very back to basics, very back to basics, uh, atmosphere here and culture and, you know, I'm a basics kind of guy. My instrument is very basic. 90% of the time, I'm playing an old instrument, which I uh, use some technology with, but for the most part, I am attached to this, this uh, very simple, you know, instrument and culturally, the similarities are here. It's very simple, very basic. And this is what I love about coming down here. It just seems like it's a marriage that's been created. And, you know, you kind of get lost in this, in this time capsule. You know, the, the people down here, the atmosphere. I'll tell you, this random events happen down here that you can't script, you can't plan for. You just get down here and, um, for example, we walked into a cab. We just, we hailed a cab down off the street and he had this blue light that was, that was inside. It was nighttime and all of a sudden we just got this, we felt like we're in a, in a bit of a nightclub. Very simple nightclub, but it's the very, this light, there's nothing fancy to it but it created this imagery that once we put the camera on, uh, it just it just put us, uh, it just created visually something that we could talk about and show you how something so simple can be so engaging as well. And I think this back to basics is very, very important. Sometimes we complicate things too much and I find this is a place where, you know, Havana is a separation. Just come down here and you're in your own little world where anything can happen. My mom and dad are big, big influences in my life. I wouldn't be where I am musically if it wasn't for my mother starting things and my dad paying the bills. <laughs> so, you know, coming down here reminds me of family life, reminds me of my family growing up, to, uh, sends me back in time, you know? And a saying that my father had and has to this day he even tells me all the time when I call him up because you know I'm always trying to get organized there's so many different burners going on and uh, the saying is a place for everything and everything in its place so meaning that we need uh, you know places for things and we need places where we do things as well that's how I interpret it and you know this is a place where I get creative Initially, we had a vision when planning this video of finding a dancer when we came down here and having, we wanted a female dancer dancing the tango and have her dance around me. But then once we got here, the plans changed and we decided it would be more interesting if I actually danced the tango with her. Uh, small problem. I don't know how to dance the tango. So <laughs> I had to get a crash course in learning some steps and we had to find someone. So this is the issue, we had to find somebody and then what happened was when we found, we did find the dancer, you know, she was, she seemed to fit the role that we wanted. She has a dance partner. He had the same look as me. He wore the same, uh, well, the same suit size, shoe size, even has highlights in his hair. So this was, perfect match, a perfect uh, teacher for me, and a perfect stunt double, <laughs> believe it or not. So when they, when they say it takes two to tango, this is literally, uh, there was two of us playing this role here, so I had 
this gentleman, Leo, who was fantastic. He showed me a couple moves, and I was able to dance with our dancer, which made it more interesting. And I think the end result was something quite, uh, it was interesting and it was fun. I got to learn how to tangle. You know, it was pretty interesting too, because the couple, it's like a Cuban thing, is that like people bring their families out with them. The dancer brought her, she has a, she has a two-year-old, she brought, brought her, her daughter along with her husband. And, you know, there's some, there's some footage we have, some time lapse, and you see the little baby running around, and, and uh, she became part of the behind the scenes. So, let me tell you, who am I besides the musician? I'm someone who loves life. I want to make the most of each moment. You know, I'm at the end of this trip now. It's very hard to say goodbye to people here, people who we formed relations with, uh, people who, have, who are there for us every day, helping us make things happen, make our life easier when we got here so we could remain focused on why we came down here, which was to create the video. And this bond, you know, will keep me coming back here. So even though I'm sad to leave today, I'm very happy that I've had the opportunity again to come down to Cuba, to Havana, to see the people, meet new people, get new ideas, and come back with something that will make my parents proud, make my fans proud, and leave a legacy for hopefully years to come.